Namaste friends, hope you're doing well. Let's talk about uh, Venus, the sixth house. Now, the sixth house is also called Shatru Bhava. Shatru means enmity. Of course, the sixth house also shows uh, the service to people. Uh, how do you adapt to adversities or problems in life, uh, court cases, uh, and uh, so many other things we can cover in the sixth house. But let's get straight to the point. Now, Venus in the sixth house. Okay? Now, if you have Shukra here, you'll be very practical uh, when it comes to your loving uh, dispositions. You will be very uh, responsible, highly responsible person. You're very responsible to your family. Um, but then you're not that, um, how can I say, you're, uh, you're, the way you approach love would not be very, um, how can I say this, you don't, you don't show uh, that uh, you're loving somebody. Okay, you, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. Uh, I mean, you don't cook anything, something special for your spouse, or you do not uh, uh, bring him or her to a fancy restaurant. Uh, you know, no roses and all that. I mean, I mean, what I'm saying is, you are, you'll make sure that your spouse is well taken care of. You'll make sure that you'll be there always when he or she needs you. You'll make sure that everything that you do, your, I mean, you render your service to her or him. And you're very thoughtful about what's your spouse's next action, uh, what what he or she is thinking. You you are that sort of person. You are the practical romantic guy. I don't know whether that phrase makes sense or not, but then I think you get the picture here. You do not you do not uh, express uh, that you are actually loving your wife or your husband or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. But then you make sure that you meet their whatever uh, necessities that they need. Okay. So you're very practical when it comes to love. Uh, you will, you will, uh, you you're very good in design-related works. So any type of design works, from architecture to 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 building to I mean anything, any design, uh, web designing or uh, any design-related work, car designs or anything. But uh, the thing that I've seen over my research is these people have a natural flair towards uh, fashion. The fashion world it's, uh, is the uh, thing. It doesn't, ma doesn't matter who you are, a guy or a girl, doesn't matter, but you will be naturally connected to clothing, you know. You like to beautify yourself and you like to see others uh, getting uh, uh, beautiful. You, you really appreciate clothing and fashion and jewelries and all that. Uh, so you, you, you'll do very well when it comes to this, this kind of uh, uh, feel. If you're doing some other jobs, Perhaps you can give it a try, you know, the fashion world, you can even, doesn't mean that you have to be a fashion model. What I'm saying is, something to do with clothing, something to do with fashion. Maybe you can be a trader, maybe you can trade trade costume jewelries or, or anything, right? Something to do with the fashion world will naturally give you that, that added advantage because of your special abilities that you have there, okay? Uh, some say uh, when, when you are married, uh, you will be, your life will change, your health uh, your personality, everything will be changed. You'll be very matured once you're married. Even after uh, after kids, you'll be even exponentially increasing. Uh, you'll be one of those great uh, exemplary people who really maintains their love life. See, the problem here lies is that when you get the wrong spouse, when you get the wrong partner, when you when you get the wrong, uh, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever it is, and the other person who likes to see you more romantic quote-unquote romantic which means he or she wants to see you buying roses or remembering your uh, their birth dates or something like that or you know being very romantic cook something special for her it's something that all of us should do I am not saying uh, that's not a bad thing but some people uh, expect this to happen okay so when you have couples who expect these uh, romantic favors to happen that's where the problem lies because you are not sh you do not show your uh, romantic feelings rather you will make sure that they're taken care of you're a very responsible uh, and caring uh, person okay uh, so for those young teenagers uh, you know sometimes you'll feel your your husband I'm sorry your, your boyfriend or your girlfriend doesn't it's not so romantic but then he's and or she is always there for you the chances are this person will have Venus in the sixth house all right uh, you will also you you are also very meticulous in your job. You 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 go to the fine details. Uh, everything that you do, anything. I'm not only talking about work or school or whatever it is. Whatever you do in your life, whatever age you are right now, doesn't mean doesn't matter. You are, you know, 80 or you know, you're just 
12, it doesn't matter. Wherever you are in your life right now, you are very meticulous in what you do. From you eat, from, from what you eat, you're very cautious what you eat. You don't simply indulge, but you have got a sweet tooth. You indulge in all the sweet stuffs. Be cautious about that. Uh, I noticed a lot of people, based on my research over the years, these people write a lot of sweet stuffs. So be cautious about that. Uh, and your meticulous nature uh, can be can be seen as a little bit annoyance when it comes to your office and environment. In office, you are seen as a very friendly personality, as a person who, who does things very well, very neat, um, uh, very uh, tidy and you know gets the job done. Uh, and, and whenever you do a job, you'll make sure you, you, you'll do a great job. You'll make sure that no one else will come and redo whatever you have done. You know, you'll take pride in your work, okay? Um, what I can see is sometimes if Venus is afflicted, you'll have a lot of worries towards your own st general state uh, of health. You'll be worrying, uh, sometimes when you, even if you're having a slight headache, you'll be worrying unnecessary things. Uh, you, you worry too much when it comes to your health. Uh, this is something that you need to understand. Also, if Venus is affected, uh, you can be real annoyance or real pain for your partner. Uh, you'll be you'll be always constantly thinking or rather asking what your partner needs uh, what your partner even if your partner is just sitting down you'll be thinking is, you'll be asking him or her like is everything all right or is she going or is he going to a tough time it can be a little bit annoying uh, in, in that sense so this is when venus uh, and mercury is afflicted uh, anyways uh, that's a little bit about what i think uh, venus would do to you on your sixth house hope it has been beneficial till the next time thank you Namaste.